Had a long week and wishing for a peek at the newest games on the Desura service? Well then, we've got your back, so sit back, relax, and let's have a chat about the Desura release highlights for the week of November 11. Big bad bots break out and blast, slash, and trash one another in Metal Planet. The game, self-titled after its developer, puts players in the cockpit of a wide selection of automatons and puts them on the path to power weapon wielding first person war. Featuring destructible environments, game modes, guns, and goodies galore, Metal Planet has something for everyone. Releasing to the PC platform on November 10th, those with a sympathy for psychopathic cyber slaughter can dip their toes in the robotic water for $5.99. Now, if you're anything like me, you've probably spent at least 30 minutes wondering what it might be like to strut around the ring of man grapplitude in a lightning bolt banana hammock, ready to bloody the first burly braggart to challenge your claim at the championship belt. No? Well, fine then, I guess I'll keep my fantasies to myself, but enter M. Dickey's Wrestling Revolution, a full-on wrestling simulator for the ultimate fan. Craft your character from the ground up and follow him through a career spent best when beating men with bats and rolling around on mats. Face or heel, success or failure, it's all up to you in this tantalizing take on the wrestling industry. Available on November 11th for the PC platform, gamers can grab the game and earn some fame for $4.99. Trading card games need no introduction to your average gamer, and I'd be willing to bet that most of us have spent more than a few nights flipping bits of paper and hoping that your Sarah Angel doesn't end up in the discard pile. Capitalizing on those gamblers' hopes, Battlegrounds of Eldhelm releases to the Mac and PC platforms on November 11th. Price to entice and so free it feels nice, players can jump into the game and participate in ladder competitions, multiplayer matchmaking, and more new card smell than ever. If you've got the temptation to tap, the call to crush, or simply the drive to dish out defeat, Battlegrounds of Eldhelm has got you covered. Some games answer existential questions while others focus on social or political commentary. And then you've got games that are like Meatball Phobia. Packaged to look and feel like the floppy disk games of the past, Meatball Phobia ponders the societal ramifications of dropping meatballs on a bald man's head and cackling madly at his chagrin. One part physics game, two part style, players who feel like their meatballs bring all the boys to the yard can get the game starting on November 12th for the Linux and Windows operating systems. At the low price of $2.99, get your thesaurus o ball jokes ready and... Oh wait, you don't have one? Well, you can borrow mine, and let's get this ball rolling. If there's one thing that the 7th grade taught me, it's that nobody likes you when you're a sticky square. Micro Dude's parallel bounded protagonist is showing us that you can put a new multifaceted face on the platforming genre. Armed with sticky sides and a grappling hook, players must jump, hook, glide, and slide their way to the end of the level without running into obstacles, all to the hypnotic musical arrangements of Lone X. Developed by John Harwood and ready for release on November 13th, Micro Dude is a fair and square option for those who have been down on their platforming luck. Priced at $2.99 and available for the Windows operating system, treat yourself to a thumping ride through a pleasant platforming presentation. Swords? Check. Sorcery? Check. Fate of the world held in the balance by a ferocious man demon orc monster with a troop of toadies ready to cut you to bits? Check a Rooney, and with everything in its rightful place, Riftwalker would like to invite you to the Fortress of Analia, where monsters creep in every corner and cadaverous contingents of ghastly ghoulies just can't wait to consume your squishy bits. A third person wave based action RPG, players take control of one of three characters as they attempt to stay alive and survive through the onslaught of baddies. With a selection of spells and abilities built using the UDK, Siege of Analia's Early Access Alpha launches on November 13th for $9.99 to the Windows platform. The long-standing war on drugs perpetrated by global governments has long been a problem with which the world has had to struggle both ethically and physically. Narco Guerra places players squarely in the commander's seat to orchestrate and organize a defense against the cartels whilst ensuring their goodie bags don't end up in the wrong places. Bearing resemblances to classic tabletop games such as Risk and Pandemic, players must choose how they wish to allocate their law enforcement resources to best optimize their chances of winning. Sporting a clean presentation and a challenging array of contingencies to be dealt with, gamers looking to get their galoshes off with a new strategy offering will have the opportunity to do so starting on November 14th. Narco Guerra is priced at $2.99 and is compatible with the Windows and Mac operating systems. The list has run dry, thus indicating that my time with you fine folks has gone by. If you enjoyed our weekly release list, please feel free to join us again next week by clicking the subscribe button down below. Additionally, we love chatting it up with all of you and look forward to your comments, so be sure to leave us some. That being said, we'll see you all next week, and as always, we'll have a brand new list hot off the griddle for you every Monday. Take care out there, everybody.